Hello right bags, it's Jade, welcome to a special Grounded video. Today we're going to be taking a look at all of the laboratories in Grounded. Obviously as you play through the game, very first part of the story, it's only about 25% of it in there currently. But there are a number of locations you can go to with these locked doors. How do you get in them? What's inside them? If you can't be bothered to try and do hours of glitching to get yourself through, I've got you covered. I'm going to show you what's behind all the doors for every single secret laboratory. Maybe these are laboratories you didn't even know existed. Locations of all four laboratories, what's inside them, but using cheats and a bit of glitching to get through. If you don't like spoilers, I guess you better click away now. So pretty much the very beginning part of the game is your task is to get the power basically turned on, something goes wrong and it causes an explosion which gives you access to the first laboratory inside the oak tree. This is going to be the very first stages of meeting Burgle where you'll be able to get some upgrades, find out what really science points are available for and pretty much it's the start of the story of Grounded. I have shown off a lot of this obviously doing let's play video and showing you guys the best way to play the game but this is where you also start picking up some of the story logs and they'll start filling you in a little bit on who Wendell is and why he's created some science experiments to shrink people to maybe take on Omnicorp. That's pretty much the story of the game so far. You got into the next area with a simple puzzle. Press the middle one and then you're going to press the right hand side one and then you'll be able to pull the switch. This opens up the next compartment and you'll be meeting Burgle, the friendly little robot for the first time, not before maybe taking out one of these guys. These shouldn't be too hard, they will try and zap you, that's why his name is Taze T, and yeah, take him out and you should be able to get through to the next stage. Defeating him and you're going to get some science points. Now this is all part of the story that's properly done. The story elements are there, you pick up science points, the doors open properly. But there are some big bugs at the moment. If you come into this area a lot of time after you've played the game, some people are saying that the Burgle robot is gone. Other people are saying that the door is locked. You can no longer get into this area at all. So there does seem to be some big issues with it. Hopefully it gets fixed soon. At last here is Burgle. We're going to help him up and then we'll be able to sort out, get ourselves some upgrades and get a little bit more info about the story. You might think it's a bit useless me showing this off as it's pretty much most of the content in the early stages. But there are lots of people that really didn't go to the oak tree at first. They spent days surviving before realising they could go and get upgrades and take part in missions. And this is pretty much all you can do. You can go and buy stuff with them science points. Now it's all been fixed properly and Burgle shouldn't be disappearing anymore after the latest update. Inside here as well you find some more lore, the BTU, that is part of the story as well. And you'll find these locked doors that can be opened by these orange buttons. You'll also find some more science points and if you go down here this is another bunch of science points. But that's all that's in here, it's just like a battery room. Quite a few of the laboratories have some sort of battery or they need some power and here you go, there's some more science points for you. So definitely collect all these and this is what you're going to be using to buy upgrades. This has also got an analyzer in it as well, so this room you'll be able to scan more items that you have on you that you haven't scanned already. The second one I'm going to show you is pretty much the Haze Laboratory. Now I've shown all of these pretty much by flying through them using ghost commands, but you can't interact with any collectibles when you do that, and sometimes they don't even appear. So I spent ages and ages trying to get inside some of these using some glitches which I'll show at the end. Here's the location of the haze. Obviously you're going to need some sort of mask or you can make a smoothie that will allow you to breathe safely and not get killed by the gas. Now the way I did it, I had to drop into the tunnel. There's a tunnel that actually breaks up some of the laboratory. It's really spooky, it's really creepy. You've got all the blue grew in here and there is a collectible that we can pick up that I wasn't able to pick up before. So yeah, just walking around with my old character Boney. Rip Boney, apparently he's been patched now so you can't actually be the fifth skin character anymore. I don't think it was ever a character, I do believe it was just something as part of development. But yeah, it's a really weird laboratory. Obviously we've got another analyzer, so you can go ahead and put what you want in there. And there is a another story segment on the floor. It's the personal log 04. Additional equipment and supplies to complete the XP expanding platform prototype. So by the sounds of it, the expanding platform, maybe that will be the end goal. Maybe obviously we've got to make ourselves bigger and we've got to build a platform or unlock a platform to do so. I probably will show off all of these logs in a separate video where I'll just let them all play if you want to see all the story in kind of order and all the logs. But yeah, it's getting weirder and weirder. There's more science experiments being done. You can see we've got a infected weevil inside 
that little science pod there and you've got more space here it looks like battery conduits etc are powering up this room so that's the main draw is this guy here a weevil stuck suspended and obviously they're maybe thinking about doing some sort of experiments we definitely need loads of torches down here it's pitch black currently my helmet is giving off some light and i think you're okay in terms of haze i don't think it can kill you while you're in this laboratory but i could be wrong on that so that's the outside that's where i came in and then i'm going back down the corridor now and you can see it's all blown up something's escaped clearly one of the science experiments has gone wrong there's another button there which is going to open up a next section that we'll be able to explore and get some more story from but there's not much more going on in here so let's push this button and we can pretty much get on top of here and go through. You can see a little footprint on top of the apparatus as well. So that's pretty cool. Let's dive down and see a little bit. I don't know why I decided to go third person there. But yeah, you can see the footprint there. And this is the next room. It's got all sorts of monitors on it. So who is watching us? Is this the mysterious watcher? You can find some of these other notes in the hedge lab, which I'm going to show you guys as well. But yeah, it does look like it is the second note from that and it tells you to go and find more activity of the Watcher. So stuff's gone wrong though. They've escaped from this, something's broke through. So maybe we've got to do that as a side note or maybe it will be part of the big main story. So this note is definitely from someone who's helping Wendell. Wendell is the guy that created, I do believe, Burgle. And this is someone else that's also doing science experiments with him. He's talking about the Doomsday failsafe and what's happening with the ants. How uh, They're pretty much very aggressive towards him. And is he going to be able to escape in time? Maybe his remains, his skeleton bits are the ones we find in the ant cave, otherwise known as the Forest Tribute. So we're back out in the tunnel now. Remember, we've pushed that button and it should open up the doorway that you can go into this next chamber, which is lit up a lot more. So you will be able to go in here and you won't have to worry about having a torch or anything. Again, another one of them strange science uh, sort of holdalls. And then we've got like a small antechamber and we've got more batteries powering and connecting everything up, just like I said. And this is the doorway it actually opens. I think you can get in this one, but it's this doorway that that button pushes. And it's another switch. Now these switches are important. These are what's going to basically, I think, power up the machine to make us either small or possibly big again. So every time you see one of these switches, that's one of the main objectives is powering up stuff from each single lab. So yeah, we wouldn't be able to pick up their notes if you are trying to ghost through these areas. They just don't appear for some reason. So yeah, I'm really glad I found a way to get through it. Again, I'm going to show you right at the end. Now it's time for the ones in the hedge. Here is the location of these ones. There's a couple actually, there's one right at the top of the hedge and then you've got all these big massive hamster sort of tunnel sections here below just to wrap around the tree too. But if you keep going all the way up, you will find a small doorway nestled right in the top corner. Now this is open, you don't have to do any glitching or cheating. You will be able to get into this area as long as you can climb up. This is where you find the first stranger notes. I probably maybe should have shown you this lab first, but yeah, here's the first strange note. I'm pretty much telling you to go and look for a spy or another base of operations somewhere else. More batteries supercharging stuff up. And yeah, there's the strange note number two and strange note number one, talking about the berries, how they're gonna be a leather substitute, which we knew. And there are some whiteboard notes that might reveal some more information too. I have done multiple videos now and streams showcasing where the hedge is and where these labs are. So go and check them out if you want more details. But yeah, this is pretty much a good one you can get to fairly decent, fairly easily. Now you can see I'm just about to jump in here. You've got to go next to the tree to the mushrooms and you'll find the hole inside. Be careful there are going to be all weavers and spiders in here. Another analyzer and another one of them big switches that turns the power on. So definitely come in here, take out the all weavers and pull that switch. Now these whole areas are pretty large. You'll be able to explore lots of little corridors and lots of extra areas. And there's another section you'll be able to get into that is locked off by a door. But here's another part of the BTU, or it's the Log Omnient Log. Now the Omnient Corp seems to be the bad guys, like the real bad guys. Maybe Wendell's a bad guy, but it seems like the Omnient are like pretty much the rivals giving us kind of the machinery and tools to do stuff or Wendell works for them. That's what I'm kind of getting from a lot of the story so far. Like I said, I'll probably need to sit down and go through every single note to give you guys a proper detailed explanation of all the story if that's what you guys want. Another room with just some spiderlings in this one, so nothing else really going on. Just taking a little look over the rest of the lab and the hedge area. 
If you go all the way to the bottom, you'll find a locked door. This is how you can be able to get in from the ground, hopefully, where you won't have to go through the whole hedge, because the hedge is a massive jumping puzzle. To get through all that section, it does take quite a bit of time, so I'm hoping we will be able to get a key to open that. Maybe once we've done all the other labs, it looks like this is gonna be one of the last ones maybe we'll find. So I've gone back outside now, I'm gonna go down here, this tunnel. This tunnel's actually blocked off by the doors, you can't get through the doors. There's no switches or buttons to press to open this one, but you can drop in through this hole once more, so be careful. And as you're in here, I didn't think there was anything in here, but I think I missed one of them. One of you guys told me that actually on top of one of these machines, there is a story segment, or there is a story key, um, I couldn't really see it though, and looking over the footage again, I still can't see it. But yeah, as far as I'm concerned, there's nothing in there, but I could be wrong. So have a good search in there, and I'm sure there'll be something else to find. And then there's just one more section we're going to take a look at if we keep following this branch all the way up, but go to the right-hand side. So we're going to keep going in that direction. Um, just below us as well, there is also one more laboratory door, but that's just pretty much a corridor that leads here as well. So there's literally three different ways you can get to this section, either by the hedge, via the corridor, or you can actually go alongside the stone wall. There's a little bit of dirt that you can jump up and climb up, and it's got some science points on it, alongside some spider webs. But yeah, we're following the branches here now, and this is the observation point. So not technically a lab, but I think some people may actually miss this, and it gives a massive great big view of the whole of the backyard. It also gives you some science points, and yes, it's gonna give you a scab once you open it. Be careful, that door sometimes can glitch and can almost knock you off, or if you're doing it multiplayer, some of our friends playing this game, they actually got kicked off because the door shut in their face as they went to get in. But yeah, nice little view of the whole backyard. And finishing off with this one. This is the one that I've actually missed from a few videos. Like I said, I've done some ghosts, I've done some guides walking through some of the other labs, but I've never come across this one. So big shout out to everyone that told me there was one more lab I needed to check out. So you have to see that little gap in the wall. It's really tiny, but just kind of there. We're right in the far section near the logs, and you can kind of see where we are near the wetlands. There's loads of clay, there's loads of mushrooms, there's loads of the bombardier beetles here as well. So good location to come get these guys. Here is, is on the map, and this isn't the last lab. There are some small machinery pieces you'll find in little ant hills or caves in the middle of the map, but it doesn't really progress the story as much. There's no like buttons and things to press there. So I'm gonna cover that, like I said, when I do the story video, taking you going through every single note, every single location for them. So I built up with this one just to show you guys this is what you'll be doing to get up here, building yourself some clay platforms or using a springer. And then mysteriously, I'm just inside. Like I said, I'm gonna show you how I've done this. But yeah, this is what's inside here. I was doing it more in a photo opportunity way, so excuse the poor edit in here. But basically take a look at all these random berries. These are berries that have been experimented on. They're in all different stages, they're all different types. Obviously you've got a big massive monitor here with two red buttons. I don't think them buttons do anything. There wasn't any collectibles in this room either. There wasn't anything that I could find to pick up. Again, I could be wrong, maybe there is something, but I couldn't find anything in it. And it's just one laboratory room. There's not like the rest of them where it had loads. And this is probably the big draw, is a blueberry with teeth. How frightening is that? Killer blueberries. Are we gonna start seeing everyday fruit and berries from the garden become enemies in the game? Ignore that compass, I spawned that in by accident. Um, but yeah, this was after a lot of hard work. To get into this laboratory specifically, the haze one wasn't as bad. You have to actually glitch through, a bit like meshing, to get my character in there. I could have just come through here in ghost mode, no problem, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But to actually come in here with the character, it's incredibly hard, it took me hours. And this is pretty much how you do it. You have to find a way to put a foundation down, so you can do this legit. And then you've got to put a lean-to down so it's facing the wall that you want to glitch into. And when you die, when you reload, you're going to respawn and you'll be inside that wall and you should be able to walk around freely. Now, if you make a mistake, you'll end up just getting pushed out, but you should be able to hopefully get in and that's pretty much under meshing. Now, I don't condone this normally because on multiplayer games like Ark and Conan, this is a big no-no. If you do this, you are a scumbag because people use it to cheat and take advantage and go and grab loads of resources from people's bases and destroy them and stuff. But as Grounded is a local co-op game, 
single player game. It's not like that. You know, if you're going to glitch and cheat, you're not harming anyone, just mucking around. So I kept using some cheats to put a lean to down, but like I said, as long as you're able to keep picking up your bag, you should be able to do this without the cheats because you won't be able to do this on PC. And I do believe some people have said they've been able to do it on Xbox as well. And I simply had to find places to keep putting the lean to down. Eventually I made my way all the way down to the bottom the side of it more or less just close to the laboratory entrance and I found a way to get in. Not without some noticeable fails though so as long as you keep reloading I eventually managed to do it. It's exactly the same method for the one at the haze where you can't get through the doorway. Just put a lean to against the dirt, set your spawn point, die and then hopefully you'll be respawning and you should be able to get yourself in. All in all, this video took me about three hours to record, plus all the editing and voice work afterwards. So yeah, maybe just leave it to me to explain the story if you're too lazy to go and actually complete the game, or wait for it if you want to see the story a little bit ahead of time, then I'll do the rundown with everything that's going on. There's going to be more and more labs added while they're in early access, and I really like them. I really like the idea that they're part of the story, I like them to be more dungeon-like, I want to see more enemies, and this is just a glimpse into the future. Go and check out this video, I have done a more detailed video on this one, showcasing all of the underwater lab, all the brand new creatures that could be coming in a underwater update, but I didn't include it in this one, just because I felt like I, it wasn't in the game just yet. So when it comes out, I'll do a thorough walkthrough of this underwater lab proper legit till then go and check out all the other grounded guides let's plays i have been playing it legit honestly there are some good stuff there as well and yeah i'll be hopefully showcasing this laboratory when we do get the update who knows when and any other future labs latest rat bags